got two ways to control our designations. Yeah. Yeah. We're rehearsing the command sequences right now. So, uh, my test pro. Okay. Yeah. I think I just have daughter for the observatory, for the web telescope, it's all going to be in one place. And for four to fall in, so we just put it in the control center. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Standing by for terminal count. A tous de DDO, attention pour les deux comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight. Good pitch program reported. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. So let's continue the mission. And Raphael, uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam. Looking back at the James Webb Space Telescope, this is on about a 20 second delay or so because of the way the imagery is processed uh, here in the control room. There's your telescope ready to unfurl uh, its uh, wings basically. We're 13 minutes, 55 seconds Philippe into the flight. Jean-Luc uh, Voyer, the uh, range operations manager, continues to report a nominal performance for James Webb. And again, uh, Luce Fabregat from the European Space Agency. Uh, how is this uh, trajectory? And there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera on the Ariane 5 looking at the James Webb Space Telescope as it moves uh, gently away from go its web, launch go. vehicle. Fantastic pictures of this telescope. Go Web, go Web. Yes, go Web. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper stage camera, this will be humanity's last view of the James Webb te Space Telescope as it moves to its work uh, place about a million miles away from Earth. We have reached the end of deployment and we are preloading into the latch pad. All right. Oh, to copy. <laughs> <laughs> you see people clapping? Yes. What wonderful. Yeah, everyone's moment. up on their feet and clapping. So I'm emotional about it. Uh, what an amazing milestone. We see that beautiful pattern out there in the sky now.
The James Webb Space Telescope will perform its science mission while orbiting a location in space one million miles away from Earth, called the Second Lagrange Point, or L2 for short. L2 is a point where the gravitational influences of the Earth and Sun and motion of the orbit combine to create an equilibrium. As Webb orbits L2, the telescope stays in line with Earth as it travels around the Sun. The telescope's optics and instruments need to be kept very cold to be able to clearly observe the very faint signals of very distant objects. This location is perfect for Webb's sunshield to block out light and heat from the Sun, Earth, and Moon. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb's orbit keeps the spacecraft out of the Earth's shadow, making L2 a thermally stable location for the observatory to operate.